I just realized that my past four videos are all about disasters happening in alternate timelines. As much as I enjoy exploring the multiverse, let's cover something a little simpler and lighthearted for a change, like ladybugs. No, seriously, there's a really strange pattern with ladybugs in Equestria. This odd connection was first noticed by SassQ on MLPforums.com. They pointed out that whenever we saw a ladybug, there was a portal nearby. Sounds pretty random, right? But hear them out. The very first thing we ever saw in any alternate world was a ladybug. This was our introduction to the human world. And then, in the next Human World Adventure, when the main six were hanging out by the portal, we saw a ladybug again, this time with Fluttershy putting extra focus on it. But maybe this just means that there's ladybugs outside Canterlot High, so what? Well, it's not just there. Over in Equestria, right after the main six went through the portal from the Breezy's world back into theirs, we were greeted with, you guessed it, a ladybug. Weird, isn't it? Now we have three different instances with portals and three different sightings of ladybugs. What could this possibly mean? Am I saying there's a secret cabal of ladybugs controlling the portals between worlds and traveling across the multiverse? Yes. The secret society of ladybugs has portaled its way into every aspect of our lives. Not even our nursery rhymes are safe. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs. Awake. Okay, maybe not, but it is weird that this correlation happened three different times. It could be a coincidence, but what if there's more to this? SassQ wasn't able to figure it out, but it's been quite a while since that post was made, and since then, more ladybugs have appeared. Let's see if we can shed some light on this. Our next ladybug sighting was when Twilight opened her school of friendship. On Ocellus's first day, she was too shy to stay in her natural form, so she morphed into a pony with a ladybug cutie mark. And were there any portals nearby? Well, Chancellor Naysay did eventually portal to the school, but that's a bit of a stretch. Things only fall apart more from here. Our next sighting of a ladybug was when Chrysalis went to gather hair samples from the main six. Curiously, her pony disguise also had a ladybug cutie mark, this time with no portals around at all. That connection is weakening, but we're beginning to see another pattern here. Two different changelings with ladybugs for cutie marks? What are the odds? Well, on the surface, the explanation is pretty simple. I mean, both Ocellus and Chrysalis are ladies, and they are bugs, making ladybugs the perfect symbol for them. But it goes a bit deeper than that, and that's when I realized what ladybugs actually mean. Because there's something that all five of these ladybug examples have in common. The portals were just a red herring. The true common thread is change. Think about it, the portal from the first two examples changes your form. When we saw that first ladybug, Twilight had just undergone a major change into a human. In the third example with the Breezies, the ladybug was there as the main six changed from Breezy back to Pony. It was there representing the change, not the portal. And in the last two examples, well, they're changelings. Changes in the name. Ladybugs in this world seem to be associated with change, and that makes sense. Though they're most commonly a symbol of good luck, ladybugs are also known as a symbol of change. This is because they hibernate through the winter and come out in the spring. These cute little red bugs are a sign of the changing seasons. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. This is the true meaning of ladybugs in Equestria. No conspiracy necessary. Though... Oh, Celestia, please don't. Oh, change could be taken to mean a change in the timeline. There they go. This would explain why Twilight was deathly afraid of ladybugs here, but didn't bat an eye at them here. If the cause of her fear was, as she said, the ladybug swarm that invaded her house when she was a filly, she should have been afraid in both. Those events must have only happened in this Twilight's past. These are different timelines. A swarm of ladybugs must have gone back in time to terrorize little filly Twilight so that in the future, they would become the greatest weakness of the most powerful pony in Equestria. In this timeline, Equestria is now overrun by ladybugs. You should be afraid, Twilight. Be 
very afraid. Uh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be taking a break from time travel theories. Just ignore the last 30 seconds. But what do you think about the rest of it? Am I right about ladybugs representing change? Or is it all coincidence? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, huge thanks to Crooked Beetles for those hilarious visuals earlier. For more amazing stuff like that, check out our TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram. If you want to support this channel financially, check out my perks at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. The Nameless One, Equinox3141, Darth Side Tyler 12, Petrol Hedo 2, Gilded Page, Cyanax, Allison H, and the winner of this week's Alicorn Raffle, Princess Starglow. Congrats, and thanks again for everyone's support. Y'all help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Waves, signing out until Friday after next. Bro Hoof!